What if you could build a fully interactive dashboard like this one with drop downs and graphs and real time updates in under one minute using just Python? Well, let me show you how. Welcome back. I'm Veronica, known as Data Geek, and I teach real world data skills using Python, Power BI, SQL, and Excel. In this quick tutorial, we're going to build an interactive dashboard using the Dash framework. No JavaScript, just pure Python. You'll learn how to set up Dash in under one minute, create beautiful charts using Plotly, make your dashboard interactive with user inputs, and structure everything clean and professional. So let's get started. Here's what we'll build a simple dashboard showing fruit sales across cities, dropdowns, dynamic charts, all built with just a few lines of Python. Your Visual Studio Code and open folder. Find your folder location that you want to save your data. In this case, I'm going to put my downloads folder. Then I'm going to right click and create a new folder. Name it something like Python dashboard and select folder. Now you'll see here on the left side, we'll show your folder. Next, click on the little new file. We're gonna create a file in this folder. We name it dashboard.py and enter. We will start by importing the libraries. We'll use dash to build the dashboard, HTML and DCC from dash for layout and components. We will use input and output for interactivity, and we will use pandas. We will use pandas to manage our data and plotly.express for the visuals. Next, we initialize the Dash app by creating an instance using dash dot dash, open and close parentheses. This sets up the framework for our dashboard. Here we create a small data set using pandas. It shows fruit sales across four cities. We'll use this to build and filter our charts. Next, we're going to create the app layout. Now we build the layout using dashes, HTML dot div. We start with a simple header, then add a drop down to select the fruit. Options are generated from the unique value in our data. and we set the default to apples. Finally, we add a graph component, which will update dynamically. This is where the magic happens, the callback function. It listens to the dropdown input, filters the data by the selected fruit, then generates a new Plotly bar chart using that filtered data. The chart updates instantly every time you change the dropdown. Finally, we will run the app using app.run with open parentheses debug equals true, close parentheses. This launches a local web server and opens your dashboard in the browser. Next, you wanna make sure to save your code by going to file on the top left and clicking on save. Once you save it, then open up a terminal. Here on the top of your tabs, you will click terminal, new terminal. First thing you want to do is install all of your packages. 
So in the same terminal, type in python dashboard.py to run this file. Once you run the script, look at your terminal, you'll see a message that says dash is running on HTTP. This means the app is live on your local machine. Just click that link or copy and paste it into your browser and your dashboard will open up instantly. And there it is, a live interactive dashboard built completely in Python, running right in your browser. You can click here for the dropdown and select any of these for those data points. Also a pop-up message for each bar chart lets you know what filter you are on. And that is it. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Your support really helps me keep creating more content like this. I've also made the full code available for free. You'll find the download link in the description below. All I ask in return is that you hit that subscribe button to show some support to my channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.